Bonjour mon petit chef le Amber here and happy January. Wow. <laughs> it's January. It's 2019. Okay. Cool. Great. Welcome to the first TBR video of 2019. <sighs> Today I'm going to sit down and share my January. Ooh, I couldn't think. TBR and if you watched my my reading vlog, my last reading vlog of 2019 that I just uploaded, you will have seen where I'm doing this thing now where I have a TBR jar. I'll put a little clip of it over here. It's my Yoda, not jar, mug. My Yoda mug. And I have all of the titles of the books that I have just kind of been hoarding. <laughs> and I put them in there and that's how I'm choosing my TBRs until I'm allowed to buy books again. Because I am not allowed to buy books until at least February because I've been saving. Anywho, these books that are that I'm about to show you are from said mug. I'm going to stop. I've had too much coffee. I'm going to stop babbling. I'm just going to go right into it. I have my my reading planner that I got in my last Owl Crate box that I plan to use all year. I just think this is the cutest thing where I keep track of the new releases for the month and my TBR. And it has the space for little book reviews. I can jot down my thoughts as I come across them. But without any further ado, I'm going to share these books. Thankfully, when I drew these books out of the mug, none of them were overly just huge books because I am going away on Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm not really trying to carry giant books around with me because I don't have like an e-reader yet. My goal is to get one. I never thought this day would come, but here we are. Be anyway, so the first book I'm already reading, and it is The 48 by Donna Hosey. This book came out fairly recently, I believe. I It was at least when I bought it, it was a new release. I got it around Halloween time. And this is the story of like these time-traveling teenagers who are tasked to stop the wedding of King Henry VIII to Jane Seymour after beheading Anne Boleyn. And so we have time travel, we have the Tudors, we have historical fiction, hence the Tudors. <laughs> I'm in. I love, I don't know if you know, I love historical fiction so much. I specifically love reading about like the Tudor era. The Other Boleyn Girl is one of my favorite books. I've read, I haven't reread it recently, but I've read that book quite a few times. I really love Philippa Gregory. That has nothing to do with this. I'm only on chapter 5, 26 pages in. But it's, it's interesting thus far. So, the next book that I plan to read this month is Within These Walls by Anaya Alborn. This is an adult novel, I believe, and I'm pretty sure it is about... Uh, it's a supernatural thriller, and I believe the main character, he's a true crime writer. I think he moves into a haunted house, so we'll see how that goes. I have struggled with adult fiction in the past. Yes, I'm an adult. Let me live my life. So hopefully this one won't give me too much trouble, but this is the year that I'm going to allow myself to DNF books. So if I don't like it, you'll know about it. The next book that I plan to read is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. And this I'm pretty sure is, oh, okay, is like a sort of retelling of this is the story of the descendants of Sherlock and Watson. That's all I really know about this, but the cover is really pretty and that alone sounds really interesting. And it doesn't also doesn't look like it's too long. So it looks like it's going to be a quick read. It's only like 300... It's only 321 pages, so... I can I can get through this pretty quickly. Maybe I should have read this one first. I plan to read Mirage by Smaya Dowd once and for all. This cover is absolutely gorgeous and I've wanted to read this book since before it came out. This one kind of gives me like a princess in the pauper vibe. Main character is kidnapped basically and forced to impersonate the the queen of this country who is very hated by her subjects. Sorry she's not the queen she's the princess and I think there's probably going to be some uh, it looks like she's going to like start getting closer with the princess's fiance which 
spells trouble to me so all around it just sounds really really good it's blurbed by Renee Athia on the back excellent and the last book that I plan to read this month I actually plan to listen to an audible audio audible oh my god on audible and it's Sadie by Courtney Summers and if I'm not mistaken that's the the uh the story is about a girl whose sister was murdered and it's basically her quest to bring the murderer to justice and I think part of it's told in pot like as a podcast which is why the audiobook seems like the better option it seems like a, a fun listen or an interesting listen I think I've heard that like some of it's very heavy and like intense but I'm gonna be on a lot of planes in the near future so I love listening to audiobooks when I'm away and like flying so yeah it helps me relax a lot so that's about it <laughs> those are that's that's the plan for January nothing too daunting so we'll see how it goes thank you for watching I do plan on doing a reading vlog while I'm gone so make sure you subscribe to see how that goes I think because I'm gonna be away I'm gonna try to make an effort to make it like really cute don't hold me to that anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like me feel free to subscribe all my places are down here so you can follow me and I'll follow you back and I'll see you very soon